Yo, what's good with y'all? Today, I'm about to show you guys how to make a follow friend system. Basically, like a GUI. It's going to be a little button on the side that says friends. You click it, and it pops up a list of friends. And then, if you want to join the server they're in, then you left click on it. And then, boom, it'll teleport you. So, yeah, let's get straight into it. Alright, so for this, what you guys are going to need is... You're gonna to wanna to go over here to start a GUI. First things first, we'll make the GUI. Enter the screen GUI, you could call this friends. We'll call it friend GUI. Call it whatever you want though. And then we're gonna enter the text button and call this friend call this friend button. And then we'll um we'll do it, you know we don't do customization for a uh we'll just um, just make it make it like a dark gray. Yeah, just make it like a dark gray, uh Give it a little, give it a little border. Make like a, yeah, like, like a dark red, make a dark red border. Then we'll change the font. This is all just to look nice. You guys don't have to do this if you don't want to. But yeah, and then we'll call it friends. The text will say friends and stuff. All right, we have our, so we have our friend button made. Okay, so then you want to insert a. Make sure instead of doing a frame, you type in scrolling frame or you go up here and do scrolling frame. Not a normal frame, a scrolling frame. If you want to know what the difference is between a scrolling frame is basically literally this. Like, do you know those UIs and stuff where like you can scroll like that, like like a list of things? That's what a scrolling frame is. Very useful. So yeah, just center it like in the middle. Right there, it looks good. Um I like to go with gray most of the time. That's why you usually see me go with gray. Uh, and then we'll call this, um, friends, we'll call it friend, like, we'll just call it friend frame, everything's gonna be named friend. Uh, make sure you untick visible, because we obviously don't want it to be visible as of yet, but you want, you want to make sure the GUI, however, is, uh, enabled though. Just have the frame not visible. And then, you want to insert a UI grid layout. This is for, this is so that it automatically, like, sorts all of the, like, the names of your friends, like all the, all those buttons, in a list instead of like just having it like all messy and like so like that just makes it look much more organized. Then inside of the friend button, you want to insert a local script. We will call this display friends script. Then here we're gonna create a variable. We're gonna do local player equals game dot players dot local player. And then we're gonna do script dot parent mouse button click connect function. Close parentheses, then here we're gonna make another variable and we're gonna call it local friends. And actually put a wait right here. You don't need to put you can put a certain amount of time if you want, but just wait right there. This is so that it gives uh it gives it time for the variable like you're about to see what I'm about to do. When it when it gets to players friends, you wanna give like the game time to communicate with Roblox servers to then gather all your friends because if you have like a lot of friends on or if there's like multiple requests happening at once it might just error and just not work at all stuff so you want to give it time to like properly load it and stuff but yeah and then you do equals to player then you want to do get friends online then in here you want to type 200 because this is the max number of friends and obviously the Roblox max number of friends is 200 so you could change this if you want like if you only wanted to get like 20 30 friends it all depends on you but the max you go is 200 and then and then what you guys want to do for the sake of showing you guys uh the properties of friends so you guys can see what else you can do with this and stuff like that like i'm trying to show you guys how to do uh, a follow friend system but if you guys also want to do other things with it i'll print it so i can show you guys you can you can learn other stuff you can do with it but yeah so we'll do here then what we want to do is a 4i comma v in pairs then we're going to do friends then we want to do local. We want to create a text button. I'm going to do local text button. Oh, that's nice. Well, button local text button equals instance dot new text button. Then you want to do text button dot parent is equal to player player GUI friend GUI. Make sure you put it inside of the frame. You parent it to, to the frame so that it it like it's inside of the frame so it's in it's organized thanks to the UI grid layout we have for it. And then what you guys want to do is you do text button dot text is equal to v dot user name, which is all your friends username. Each button will have that friend's username in it. And then 
you want to click enter twice and then what you guys want to do is you want to make a, a function you want to do text button mouse button one click connect to function close it off and then what you want to do is basically if the player left clicks on the friend's username then it then it'll fire a remote event which we're going to create right now we're going to do local uh we'll call it local follow friend local follow friend event we'll call it that we haven't even created it yet but pretty much go over here to rem replicate a storage add a remote event then call it follow friend event and then go on over game replicate storage follow friend event and then what you guys want to do is follow friend event fire server the reason why we're teleporting we're going to use a service we're going to use a script a server script inside a server script service is because you can't a player cannot teleport through a local script they can only teleport through server scripts if in case anybody was wondering but yeah so we're going to fire the remote event and we're going to the information we're going to give is v dot place id which is the i which is the place id of the player wherever that friend is at the time if they're in if they're uh at somewhere then what you guys want to do is instead of script inside a server script service we'll just call this friend tp handler because the script is very very short like it's very short you want to just do follow friend event i already had it pasted so you guys can just do that too then follow friend event then do follow friend event answer event connect function then player place id this is the information already play the player is automatically sent the place id is the information we sent here with the vita place id and then what you guys want to do is do local tps is equal to game get service teleport service enter then we're going to do tps teleport then the place id so place id and the player so and just like that you guys are done you guys are, oh wait actually i forgot one thing we want we want it to display the frame after hold on what you guys want to do is go to you want to go under friends with the variable friends then do player dot player gui friend gui friend frame visible is equal to true you want it to be true when the player uh clicks this button because then it would just it would do all the friend stuff but it just you wouldn't actually see it like the it, it wouldn't be visible pretty much but yeah so here now if click play you can go over here click friends it'll take a second and boom there you go as you guys can see we have these are all my friends currently online right now it's about like 20 i think but yeah as you guys can see it has their usernames each one is a button and stuff and here's what i mean when i say information each one is a player and then here's the information you get from the player you get their display name the, the ID of the game but you don't need that you don't need that though what you really need is the play what you really honestly only need is the place ID then their username and then yeah you get some other information and stuff so that's cool yeah and just in case you guys are wondering what else you can use from getting uh, your friends your uh, friends info but yeah and I just want to put this out there because I, I get this question all the time on my other video regarding like teleport I just want to make this note everyone who's trying to tell who's trying to like do anything that involves teleporting in studio you cannot teleport to another place while testing a game in studio you can you can't you need to publish your game and go test the game in the actual game itself like go play the game not actually in studio because literally it'll give you an error that says it'll be, i think it's like http 403 or it'll say like can't teleport in studio and stuff like that but yeah, also, so two things. There's two reasons why it won't teleport. If a player if a player clicks on the button, there's two reasons why it won't teleport the player. One, either you're in studio. One, either you're in studio, but let's say you're not in studio and it's still not working. That means, because, let me see if I can find an example. This is getting all your friends online. This doesn't mean every single friend, however, is in a game. It just means they're online, which means they could just be on the website. I'm trying to find an example, see if I can find an example for you guys, of one of my friends that's online, but not actually in a game. Um, hmm, I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find one of them. Mm, they all look like they're playing games. Dang. Yeah, I don't think I can find an example for you guys, but...
Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I'll be able to find an example. Dang, I don't think I'll be able to find an example for y'all. But basically, what it would look like. Oh, here, no, I just found one here. As you guys can see, the information for this for this person for this friend is much shorter than this information and stuff like that. It doesn't have a place ID, game ID, and it says last location website, which means they're on the Roblox website. They're not actually inside of the game and stuff like that. So if it like if you click on a player's name and you're actually playing your game and it doesn't teleport you, then that's what that means. They're on the website. It can, it won't be able to teleport you because there's nothing to be teleported to. But yeah, if I click on um. Let's say uh, platinum, as you see right here, it says exceptional signaling cannot teleport in the Roblox Studio, which pretty much means if you ever see this error, this always means your script is working correctly. You just need to test it in the actual game. It'll teleport you. You just can't do it in Roblox Studio. But yeah, so it'll do that. But then if I was to try teleporting to my friend, it'll say argument one missing or no. That's the error you'll get. It doesn't mean anything wrong with your script. It just means that there is no place ID since the player is not actually out of place if that makes sense but yeah so that's pretty much how you, that's pretty much how you make a follow friend system oh, yeah you can use this to you could put a little x at the top to exit x out and stuff i don't think i need to explain that if you do have any to explain that then um get you on my discord ping me ask me or just leave a comment down below ask me oh it doesn't matter and stuff like that but yeah that's how you make a follow friend system pretty simple and so yeah pretty simple um last thing i want to show you guys to wrap up this video um so for people who are if you're making a game and you only want it to teleport that person to a friend if they're playing your game specifically like the way that the way the system is now it just teleports the player to any anything as long as they're playing a roblox game but if you want to only teleport it to a place that like the part of your game what you want to do is here you want to do is when a player clicks the name when a player clicks their name you want to do if if v dot place you want to do if, if v dot place id is equal and then what you put here is here you would do it like that and there okay Basically, what you're doing is when a player clicks the friend button, if the if the ID isn't equal to if the ID isn't equal to whatever place you want them to join, it won't it won't fire it. Pretty like here. Let me. I'll just show you guys what I mean. I'll show you guys what I mean. Okay. I'll do an do an else statement. Print not at one of our places. Okay. So the ID we'll put here, I'll get a random ID. Actually, I'll just type in a random, random ID. Okay. So I just typed in a random ID, right? So it'll only teleport, it'll only teleport me if that friend I'm clicking, the button I'm clicking on is equal to, if their place ID is equal to this ID. So if I click play and then I try, I bring up my friends, click it, not, not at one of our places, right? Now, if I were to get one of my friends, uh, Diaz, and if I'm to get, oh, he's on the website, um, on the website, okay, all right, TTV, if we get him, his place ID is right here, if we get his place ID, we'll just copy and paste that, then go back here, just paste that. I've pretty in a way I've pretty much just whitelisted it so it'll only teleport me if they're in that place. Then we go to TTV. As you can see it'll say cannot teleport in studio, which means the teleport would work just if I just wasn't in studio. So yeah. That's how you make a friend uh, say make a follow friend system and yeah. My bad if the video was extra long, I just wanted to try to explain that to anyone who is interested in, in like to like how it works and and stuff like that. Hope this video was helpful. As always, drop a like, subscribe. I appreciate all the support you guys are showing to me. You guys got me to 151 subscribers. I appreciate it. If you guys need help or anything, or generally want to talk to me anytime or anything like that, you can join the Discord. The link is in the uh, description of the video. You can also join my Roblox group and stuff like that. And yeah, as always, if you need help or anything, uh, leave a comment down below. The script will be in the description if you want a reference or anything. Both scripts will be in there and stuff, and I'll have it labeled so you know what script is what and yeah that's pretty much it so yeah subscribe if this video was helpful and yeah i'll see y'all